Hi, my name is Brooklyn, and I am a sixth grader at Washington Elementary, and today I will be reading Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. Nipper the Crab hated his huge, clumsy claws. Snip, snap, clip, clap. No matter how hard he tried, they always got in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus or je and jellyfish or flippity fins like turtle and fish. One day, Nibiru was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Pop! The, claws, the clumsy claws burst the bubble. They couldn't play that game anymore, so they played tag instead. Nibiru. Nibber scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. Whoa! Nibber slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle came to dig him out. Everyone decided to play hide and seek. Nibber climbed into a big clam shell and pulled it shut. It was the perfect hiding place until smash. Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch, he cried, help. Jellyfish picked up the pieces of shell. If I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't break everything and I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, Nipper, said the others. We'll hide and you can find us. Nipper counted to ten, then set off to find his friends. He scattered through the sand and found Turtle. He shuffled under the shells and found Jellyfish. And he, sh and he searched up and down, in and out, and all around the rocks. But he couldn't find Octopus anywhere. Suddenly, everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Help! Octopus squirmed and squiggled and wiggled and jiggled. Turtle and jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. Nipper snipped the seaweed with his claw faster and faster. Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed, snipping and snapping, clipping and clapping. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing until the sea was filled with tiny, with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, Nipper. You're a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claw happily. At last, he knew how useful they could be. The end. Thank you for joining us as I read The Clumsy Crab, and I hope to see you next week.